Hello and welcome to Flick. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make use of the Flick SDK to pin files on IPFS. The Flick SDK provides convenient methods for integrating IPFS functionalities into your applications. A quick intro into IPFS. IPFS is a decentralized protocol for storing and sharing data on the internet. With IPFS, developers can build decentralized web hosting and share content offline. We'll be building a basic Node.js app that enables us to pin files on IPFS using the Flick SDK. Before we get started, here are a few requirements. We need to be running the latest version of Node.js. We need a Flick account, we'll be installing the Flick CLI and of course the Flick SDK. And so now that we've covered the requirements, let's get right into it. The first step will be getting started with the Flick platform. We're going to head over to app.flick.xyz. And so now that we're here, we're going to head over to create a free account. There are a few ways you can create an account on the Flick platform. You can do that with your decentralized wallet or an email address. For the sake of this tutorial, we'll be making use of our MetaMask decentralized wallet. I'll be selecting one of my wallets and I'll then be presented with a sign-in request. I'm going to sign that message and it will be brought straight to the Fleek dashboard. The next step from here on out will be to install the CLI onto our machine. So we're going to copy this command, open up our terminal and install the Fleek CLI. So I have my terminal open here. I'm going to go ahead and install the CLI. Okay, so we've successfully installed the CLI. The next thing we're going to do will be to create a new directory. This is to spin up a new Node.js project where we'll be building everything we're going to be working on. So to do that, I'm going to create a new directory and I'm going to call it Flick IPFS. I'm then going to CD into that directory and open it up with VS Code. And so now I have my project in VS Code. I'm going to initialize it by running npm init dash dash. Yes, this will initialize um, npm and set up a package of JSON for me. A package of JSON file has been created. The next thing I'll do will be to install the Flick SDK. I'm going to do that by running this command. So the next step will be to install these packages. These are going to be important as we build our application. So now that we have all of our packages installed, the next step will be to create a tsconfig JSON file. To do that, I'm going to create a new file, call it tsconfig. And then I'm going to paste this configuration in there, save, and we're going to move on to the next step. For the next step, we're going to create a .env file that holds two of our environmental variables, our PATs and our project ID. So PATs stand for personal access tokens. You can learn more about them in the Fleek documentation. Links to that will be in the description below. So to generate a PAT, we're going to have to run this command. This is Fleek PAT create. We can choose to assign a name to our personal access token. For me, I'm going to call it Fleek IPFS. And then we'll be asked to log in. We're simply going to click on this link and it'll take us to our browser. Confirm the authentication. So we'll get a sign in successful prompt and we will be redirected back to the dashboard. Once we head back to VS Code, we can see the success response and then our personal access token. I'm going to copy this and paste in the PAT section in my environmental variables. And now our next step will be to generate a project ID. To do that, we're going to run this command. We're going to be asked for a project name. Again, I'll give this Fleek IPFS. Creating a new project. And our project has been created. But now that our project has been created, we need to generate our project ID. To generate our project ID, we're going to run this command. This will list out our project and their corresponding project IDs. So right here, I'm going to copy the corresponding project ID that ties with the project name that I have given. As you can see here, this is Flick IPFS, and this is the corresponding project ID for that project. I'm going to copy that and paste that in my ENV file. I'm now going to save this and we can move on to the next step. For our next step, we're going to create an index.cs file. Inside of that file, we're going to be importing a few packages. We're going to be importing file system from Node.js, a few methods from the Flick SDK, our .env, and then we're going to be calling .env as well. Underneath of that, we're going to create two variables, one to hold our personal access token and another one to hold our project ID. And the next thing we're going to do will be to create a new variable that will hold our personal access token service. In here, we have a new instance of the personal access token service holding our personal access token and our project ID, all of which is making reference to line six and seven. Underneath that, we're going to create a new instance of the Flick SDK. This is taking the access token, which is making reference to this variable in line nine that has our project ID and our personal access token as well. The next step will be to create an upload file to IPFS function. This is taking two parameters, the file name and the file type. In line 17, we are waiting the Flick SDK. We're calling the IPFS method and we're using the add method to pin files into IPFS. Now, there are a few additional ways to pin files onto IPFS. Link to that list will be in the description. So right here, we're taking the path of the file and the content of the file and we're returning the results. 
We're then going to read the file, ensure that the file exists in your root directory as well. So the next thing we're going to do will be to call the function we just created. This is going to take in a few parameters and print out the result in the console. We're going to save this, open up our terminal and run our code. We're going to do that by running this command. And our file has been successfully uploaded to IPFS. We can see the path, we can see the CID and we can see the URL. We're going to click on this URL and it will open up our file. And this is the file we just uploaded. We can verify that if we go back to VS Code on here, our flick.jpg file, we can see that this is the exact same file. You can also see the file we've uploaded on the Flick platform as well. I'm going to head over to app.flick.xyz on your specific project, as we can see here, flick.ipfs. We're going to click on Files, and we can see the flick.jpg file. We can also view that by clicking on View File, and it will load up the same file. And that is it, we just pin the file onto IPFS by making use of the Flick SDK. For a quick recap, we're running the latest version of Node, we had to create a new account on the Flick XYZ platform. We installed the Flick CLI. We also installed the Flick SDK. We created our personal access token. We created our project ID, and then we successfully pinned the file onto IPFS by making use of the Flick SDK. Links to helpful resources on Flick, the Flick SDK, and the repository of the projects we just built will be down in the description below. Thank you for watching.